Uh, these are the top 10 ways to study for the AP Euro test, uh, taking it. So, and I do a lot of studying, so these are the best ways that I've found. Uh, number one, and these aren't in any specific order, these are just the top ways. Number one is start with old material, and uh, I do that by like reviewing the material that I've already completed in class. I'll like set aside 15 minutes each evening for like the past couple weeks to review past work and like refresh my memory on everything. Uh, number two is uh, approach new material with the AP test in mind. I can't just forget the material once I once I was graded on it. Um, throughout the whole year, you gotta I gotta study and remember everything that I learned. That way, when the AP test comes around, I'm just ready to go and I already know what I'm about to about to write about and and I don't need to like relearn everything if I don't forget it right away after the test. Number three is uh, don't rely too much on your teacher. Uh, your te the teacher only will uh, cover what is there. Um, another good way is you can learn more from watching stuff on YouTube or reading uh, websites and stuff like that. And uh, there's a lot more you can do than just relying on the teacher to explain everything for you. Um, another one is invest in a book. Uh, I have a book in my house and I'll read it sometimes and uh, that's another good way because that's what the teacher's going off of and sometimes you won't pay attention to something in class and you need to uh, still uh, like learn the material. So if you get the book, then it's uh, way easier. Uh, another one is uh, if you can get a tutor. Uh, the tutors, I mean, it's their job. They'll teach you how to do it. They'll teach you the materials. They'll uh, make you more confident. And uh, I haven't done that one personally, but I know some people that have, and they said if you really want to get like a five, they highly recommend it because they teach you really good stuff and they make sure you have a lot of confidence. Uh, uh, another one is... Um, make sure that you stay consistent. If you stay consistent with your studying, you'll always know the material, like, and you'll be able to study every night rather than if you just study, like, once, one time. Like, you're not going to learn everything, but if you study, like, weeks and weeks and weeks in advance, you're going to know all the material much better. And then that way you can... Uh, if you know all the stuff much better and you're consistent with your studying, it's easier to study every day or like every week. Another one is uh, do actual practice tests. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to do it if you don't do practice tests. You got to know what to expect for on the te AP test. And if you can, you could just look up like previous year's te uh, tests. And then you could just do a practice test and time yourself and make sure you do it all within the time. Um, another, I know this one isn't for studying, but on the morning of the AP test, is, or even at night, you got to make sure you get enough sleep. If you get enough sleep, you're going to do much better. So like the night before, maybe you could study a little bit, but like don't, make, don't drain yourself from studying. Like you got to get sleep. Like that's more important than staying up to like three in the morning studying just for you to like fall asleep in class when you're actually taking the test that's pointless so yeah sleep and then a good breakfast is always important in the morning uh it'll give you enough energy and and just like when you're getting there like mentally prepare know that it, it might be tough but like you gotta just persevere and be confident with your answers and if uh And then another good thing is like is just drink water. Like it'll help you calm down while you're studying and during the test. Being dehydrated when you're studying is, can be really hard, and it's just really nice to have. Another one is uh, like if your friends are like all hanging out or something, but you know the AP test is coming out. 
coming up, like, don't be afraid to, like, skip hanging out with your friends one time to go study for the test because you know you want to do good and you know it'll be worth it once you actually get a, good, a five or a four, four or five. Uh, another one is, like, have your parents or your friends, like, study with them and, like, make flashcards and, like, really test your knowledge and see if you actually know the material or if it's just, like, or, like, you know, just see if you actually know it or something. Because, like, sometimes you might, like, think you know it, but then when it comes to, like, a different situation and then they ask you, like, you might, like, forget. And especially under the pressure doing the AP tests, like, if you just, you got to put yourself out there in uh, better situations, like, uh, at, at your house, you can think, like, all right, today I'm taking AP tests. Even though it's you're not actually, you just do a practice one. And then set aside, like, three to four hours and, like, take the test. And then I'm sure you can bring it to your teacher and she'll, like, take a look at it and let you know, like, what you could have done better, what you could have done worse, or, like, what you could have done better and what you did good. Like, and then what you know you did good, you know, like, you don't need to work on that as much as compared to the stuff that you know you did right. Um, that's also another thing, like, you should study the whole year, but also, you know, especially start studying stuff that we learned all the way at the start of the year for AP Euro, like all the way from like the Reformation and the Renaissance, because that was so long ago, like most of the people forgot, which is why it's good not to forget and good to remember it. But, you know, the stuff that we just learned, like if you don't study that as much, that's all right, because we learned it super recently. So there's like it doesn't really make much sense to have to keep studying for that. Especially also, there's a bunch of good YouTube videos, even if it isn't specifically f like AP test related, you could just learn about that history. And even if it doesn't come up there, it might be helpful because you could use context clues when you're reading a problem and you don't understand. Um, another one is like, if you're studying, like don't like make studying fun. Like, don't make it so it's like a chore every time. Like, it might feel like a chore sometimes, but if you make it a chore every time, it's going to be a lot harder to study versus, like, if you make it, like, like, if you make it fun, like, I don't know how you'd make it fun, but, like, you know, like, if you don't make it, like, super boring every time, like, you could do different ways of studying, like, you could, like, play a game or something or, like, study for, like, 10 minutes and then, like, watch TikTok for, like, 20 or something. Like, that's not efficient, but, like, that's more fun than, like, just studying for, like, four hours straight. And sometimes studying for, like, two two hours, like, it can be done, but, like, you have to be really in the mood for studying. And if you have to study and watch TikTok, like, like switch back and forth, like, that's fine. Like, it's not like you're getting great on how well you study. Um, uh... But yeah, that's mainly it. Uh, it's good, again, and like just on test day also, like make sure you get there early. And if you're there early, like make sure like you're comfortable with the environment. Make sure like you're well fed, you drink a lot of water. And so just so you're fully mentally prepared, you eat good food the night before, you eat good food in the morning and you get enough sleep, you should be fine. And yeah, like, it really like, even like, you shouldn't like feel super pressured during this test. It's not like if you fail, you fail the class. Like you should do good, but it's not the end of the world if you don't do that good. But if you make the, if you make all the material like fun and not like super boring, it's way easier to study and you get a much better grade.